ready to open the hood, use tool for the tutorials, and for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the TRW brake discs and patches in the video by clicking on the link in the description. Turn your engine off, pull up the handbrake, pull on the bonnet release lever, and open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. In order to change the rear brake pads on your vehicle, you must first lift the rear of the vehicle and remove the wheels to gain full access. Loosen the stud bolts on the rear wheels. Raise the rear of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. Before starting, loosen the handbrake, otherwise you will not be able to complete this operation. Loosen the brake caliper. To do this, use a 13mm spanner as well as a 15mm spanner and remove the caliper mounting bolts. Once you have removed them, this will free up the brake caliper. Release the brake caliper from its support. In some cases, you can use a large screwdriver for leverage. Tip. Attach a piece of electrical cable or a piece of string to one of the coils of the suspension spring. To avoid damaging the brake hose, attach it to the suspension using the cable you have already attached. Remove the pads. You can slip them off by pushing them away from the disc. You can use a screwdriver to help you. You need to check the proper sliding of the caliper mounting bolts and the condition of the protective rubbers. If they show evidence of wear, it is advisable to replace them with new ones. With a flatted screwdriver, remove the noise dampening shims. Depending on the state of the nuts on the brake caliper mount, it may be necessary to use a hammer to loosen them. Using a socket wrench and an 18mm socket, unscrew the two holding screws on the brake caliper mount. Remove the screws and take the brake caliper mount off. With a hammer and a large flathead screwdriver, remove the flange from the bearing. Then, using a T-handle wrench and a 36mm socket, unscrew the nut on the hub. Finally, remove the disc. You have to clean the hub with a wire brush. Clean the ABS sensor using brake cleaner and a piece of tissue. Hi, it's Theo from Usetool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one. You will find the TRW parts and products used in the video in the link in the description. Take the new brake disc. Before installing the new disc, it is vital to clean it using brake cleaner and paper towels to take off the storage paraffin. If your new disc is painted, you can place it directly onto the wheel hub. Take the new brake disc. Place the new disc in place. Be careful as this disc model has an integrated wheel bearing. You can now reinstall the new hub nut supplied with the discs. You have to tighten it well. 
start the process off with a socket wrench. And then finish up the process with a torque wrench. Then refit the nut cover using a socket of the same diameter so as not to damage it. Using a wire brush, clean the edges of the brake caliper mount where the brake pads go. Reassemble the brake caliper mount once again, starting the screwing process by hand and finishing with a socket wrench and an 18mm socket to fix them in place. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Get hold of the noise dampening shims supplied in the kit. Place the new noise dampening shims on the clevers. Take the new brake pads. Insert the new pads into the caliper mount, sliding them into place. Detach the caliper. You now need a piston pusher, a specific tool that allows you to push the piston back, but also to turn it on itself to reset the slack adjuster on your handbrake. You can now put it back on and reassemble the caliper mounting bolts. Don't forget to use the new screws that come with the pack as they have been pre-coated with thread locking fluid. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on and lower it to the ground. Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Be careful. Before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to bring the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 kilometers or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed. Hi, it's Theo from Tool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.